Health Watch. The rise of drug-resistant, dual-mutant, flu strains in the US. A new threat in the flu season. As the flu season approaches, a new threat has emerged on the horizon. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, recently identified two cases of dual-mutant strains of H1N1 influenza in the United States. These new strains carry genetic mutations that could potentially reduce the effectiveness of oseltamivir, the main antiviral drug hospitals rely on for treating influenza. This development has raised concerns among health officials and the public alike. The genetic mutations, I223V and COVALENTS247N1. Unpacking the mutations. The dual mutant strains of H1N1 influenza feature two key genetic mutations, I223V and S247N. These mutations affect the surface proteins of the virus, potentially increasing its resistance to oseltamivir, commonly known by the brand name Tamiflu. The significance of these mutations was highlighted in a study published by the CDC in the Emerging Infectious Diseases Journal. Laboratory experiments conducted by scientists from Hong Kong revealed that these mutations made the H1N1 virus up to 16 times less sensitive to oseltamivir. While this drop in sensitivity is concerning, it is less severe than some previous mutations that have posed significant threats to flu treatment efficacy. Implications for treatment. Despite the mutations, the CDC assures that the mutated viruses remain sensitive to other anti-influenza medications, such as baloxavir marboxyl. Therefore, there are currently no immediate changes to clinical care decisions. Flu vaccination continues to be recommended as it offers protection against viruses with these mutations. Global spread and surveillance. Tracking the dual mutants. Since the first case of these mutations was identified in British Columbia, Canada, in May 2023, a total of 101 sequences have been submitted to the Global Virus Database GISAID from various continents, including Africa, Asia, Europe, North America, and Oceania. Although these cases represent less than 1% of flu virus sequences during that period, the mutations have shown a rapid spread across multiple countries. The situation in the US. In the United States, the dual mutant strains were detected by labs at the Connecticut Department of Health and the University of Michigan during the past fall and winter seasons. The CDC emphasizes the importance of continued monitoring to understand how widely these mutated viruses will circulate in the upcoming flu season. Oseltamivir, the most commonly prescribed antiviral. Importance in flu treatment. Oseltamivir is the most commonly prescribed antiviral treatment for influenza, making up 99.8% of flu antivirals prescribed to children, according to the CDC. It is recommended for all flu patients who are hospitalized or at risk of severe disease. Given its widespread use, any potential reduction in its effectiveness due to viral mutations is a significant concern. Historical context of antiviral resistance. This is not the first time health authorities have faced the emergence of flu strains resistant to oseltamivir. In 2007 and 2008, an H1N1 strain carrying the H275Y mutation became resistant to the antiviral, showing up to 1,000 times less sensitivity in lab tests. However, this strain was eventually overtaken by a competing H1N1 strain during the swine flu pandemic of 2009. The role of vaccination. Protecting against mutated strains. Flu vaccination remains a crucial tool in the fight against influenza, even with the emergence of dual mutant strains. The CDC advises that flu vaccines can still offer protection against viruses with these mutations. Vaccination not only reduces the risk of infection, but also helps prevent the spread of the virus within communities. Public health recommendations. In addition to vaccination, the CDC recommends personal protective measures such as good hygiene practices, avoiding close contact with sick individuals, and staying home when experiencing flu symptoms. These measures are essential in curbing the spread of influenza, especially during the peak flu season. Preparing for the upcoming flu season. 
Enhancing surveillance and research. As the flu season approaches, enhancing surveillance and research efforts is paramount. The CDC and other health organizations are focused on monitoring the spread and evolution of these dual mutant strains. Ongoing research will provide critical insights into the mutation's impact on treatment efficacy and help develop strategies to counteract any potential resistance. Public awareness and education. Raising public awareness about the importance of flu vaccination and antiviral treatments is vital. Education campaigns can inform the public about the risks associated with influenza and the benefits of getting vaccinated. Ensuring that people understand the significance of early antiviral treatment can also improve health outcomes. Staying vigilant against flu threats. The emergence of drug-resistant dual-mutant flu strains in the US is a reminder of the ever-evolving nature of influenza viruses. While the current impact on treatment efficacy is still being studied, it is crucial to stay vigilant and proactive. Through continued surveillance, research, and public education, we can better prepare for the challenges posed by these new flu strains. Thank you for reading. If you found this article informative, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on health and wellness. Stay informed and protect yourself this flu season by getting vaccinated and following recommended health guidelines.